get it right. Hi, Deirdre from Earth Clinic. Welcome to part two in the colloidal silver series. In part one, you learn to distinguish between ionic silver and colloidal silver, an important distinction. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make 20 ppm, that's parts per million, colloidal silver. 20 ppm, which is what this is, means you do not need to dilute the solution once you've prepared it. You're gonna need distilled water, your device. I'm using the fabulous Silvertron Elite, one of the best generators on the market, made by a wonderful inventor in Pennsylvania who can only make a few of these a week. So ladies and gentlemen, get in line if you want one. You may end up on a waiting list. Okay, here's my one quart mason jar. The lid that goes on top of my mason jar, which was specifically designed to go on a one quart mason jar. Now I have my silver bullion anode. This is going to connect to the positive red wire. You will get years of use out of this bullion bar. This is called the cathode. It's gonna to connect to the black wire. Now you could also use a copper wire, but this is what came with the Silvertron Elite. And I bought this separately from the same company. Didn't cost too much more. This is my electrolyte solution made from washing soda. I'm going to show you how to make these solutions in my next video. And here is the reducing agent made from caro syrup. Yes, it's corn syrup. Even though caro syrup is made from GMO corn, it is so highly refined during the manufacturing process that no genetic material remains in the resulting product. If you still have issues using caro syrup, you can go online and find instructions for golden syrup, which is what they use in the UK since caro syrup is a little bit more difficult to find there. To start, I'm gonna fill the one quart sterilized mason jar with distilled water. Now I'm gonna add 20 drops of this electrolyte solution to my water. and I'm gonna stir briskly with a wooden spoon. Now I'm gonna attach my silver bullion bar by threading it through one of the holes and attaching the red wire at the base. Now I'm gonna place the lid so it sits securely on the jar. And I'm gonna adjust the bullion bar so it is submerged, but so the rivet at the top is not submerged. It's a little difficult to tell. So I'm gonna pull it up slightly. Now what happens if that rivet is submerged is that it will wear over time and break apart. Now I'm gonna take my silver cathode and put it in the other hole on the other side and secure it with my black wire and I want no more than one quarter to half an inch to be submerged so I'm going to push it down that's about right there now it's ready to go so next I'm going to plug in my machine Okay, this is exactly what you need for 20 parts per million. My MA is set at 12, my parts per million 20. The water amount, that's one quart mason jar. The alert tone is long. And all I need to do now is click start. When done, the batch should look clear and colorless like the distilled water that you started with. This is ionic silver at this point. If you wish to convert this ionic silver to colloidal silver, you're gonna take off the cap, add five drops of your reducer solution, Screw the cap on tightly, shake vigorously, 
Now, if you're not in a rush, you can leave this for about 24 hours and it will turn into colloidal silver. If you are in a rush and you don't mind using a microwave, you can stick it in the microwave. Of course, make sure the lid is off. You would stick this in the microwave like this for three to four minutes. So you wanna bring it to just below boiling point in the microwave. But for those of us who don't have microwaves, the solution will be fully reduced within 24 to 48 hours. And how I'll know is that this will turn into pale yellow color. It should be the same color as baby shampoo. You don't want orange, you don't want brown, you want pale yellow for 20 ppm. Here is some 20 ppm that I made yesterday. You can see the difference in color. So ionic silver will taste metallic. Colloidal silver is tasteless and is pale yellow in color. So if you taste this after you've prepared it and it tastes strange and has a metallic taste, something went wrong with your batch. One of the common mistakes people make at home is either forgetting the electrolyte solution or using a contaminated mason jar. So you need to make sure your mason jar is sterilized before you add your distilled water. Another factor could be that this distilled water that you're using um, is not as pure as you thought it would be. Make sure to tune into my next video where I quickly tell you how to make this electrolyte solution and this reducing agent. Get it right.